look at one touchdown the past to each of the past two games, uh, you know, what's your level of frustration with that in terms of not meeting the expectations? Yeah, I think we just got to do a better job starting off the game. It's a little bit faster, I think. Um, you know, the execution, preparation, all those things kind of tie in. So uh, that's what we're focusing on right now this week in practice. You know, a lot goes into play, Con, but when you step back and look and Saquon has 14 carries the other night, do you need more? Is that, is that not, not calling enough runs? You know, I think there's 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 a mix of that. I think you have to evaluate that. And that's what we do as a staff every week is, you know, how do we get certain guys going? How do, you know, making sure we're doing the right things. And, uh, you know, there's plenty of good, you know, to build on. And there's things that you want to continue to improve on. So uh, that's where we're at right now. And, you know, we're focused on that this week in practice. When you say, um, you know, it's easy to look at the numbers and say, well, we need to start better. You know, you know these opening drives, mm -hmm. first quarter, things like that. How, as, as an offensive guy, a play caller, working with Brian, um, how, you know, you can control that to a certain extent, right? You know, the game is going to be even or right there. Mm -hmm. How do you... How do you make sure you can try to start the game fast? You know, is it changing what you're calling early, you know, different formations, things like that? Yeah, I think I think it starts with, you know, putting the guys in the right spot and then, um, you know, the execution, the communication amongst the players out there. I think I think that's all it's all part of it. I mean, it's a love man operation. Everyone's got to be on the same page. Everyone, everyone's got to be going in the right direction. And, uh, you know, those are things that we work on in practice. Is there anything you looked at, you know, from, as a play caller standpoint, you know, started these first three games and said, you know, maybe this needs to be tweaked? Yeah, there's there's plenty of that. And that's what we do every week. We'll win, loss, we'll, you know, we, we're looking at all that every single week. And there's there's plenty of things that we can improve on personally as a staff. We, we you know, we evaluate, you know, how we present to the players, what we present to the players, how we meet as a staff internally from an offensive side. Um, you know, all the schemes that we're talking about, how, we, how can we make it simple? How can we make it better? Uh, how can we improve? So those, those are all the things that we talk about, all the things that we look at. And I think, you know, each week, you know, you get a little bit better, a little bit better at certain things. And I think that's where you see the growth. Dallas like, had a lot of pressure this past week. And Brian said that you did a lot of things to alleviate that and it didn't work. I mean, how, how can you get better at that? You know, you, you come out today and practice and work on those fundamentals, work on those techniques, um, take the coaching points and take the things that we talk about in the classroom, apply it to the field, continue to show them looks, and you'll see you'll see players get better at it each day. I mean, we've seen growth from week one to week two, week two to week three. So there's plenty of stuff that we can build on. And then the things that, you know, we probably didn't, didn't do so well, we'll emphasize it, we'll show them the tape, and um, we'll show them the drills and the fundamentals and techniques. And we'll work on this. Like a month ago, if I had told you that after three games, Richie James would be leading the team in receptions and among the leaders in yardage, you would have been surprised. I think I think the way it's shaking out, Richie's done a great job stepping in. Um, you know, we've had some injuries and things like that, but he's stepped up to the plate. And I mean, that's you're going to see that across the board with, when you have injuries like that. The next man up has got to step up. And um, he's a guy that we trust in those situations, and he's done a great job with it. What's Shep going what on? What changes without Shep? Uh, he was your, you know, he most targeted receiver. He's uh, playing the most snaps. So, yeah. what changes for you guys offensively now that he's not there? Yeah, you know, the first thing I'd say is, you know, it's, um, I, it's you know, it stinks for the kid. He have to go through that. You know, he battled back um, from an injury to get back to where he's at right now, and then to see that happen, you know, my heart goes out to him. I know he'll bounce back. Um, he's one of those guys that brings a lot of energy to the room, to the group, and to the offense. And so, you know, we'll look for guys to, to step up and, and, um, and replace that and, and, and or, you know, step up and fill uh, those needs and the things that we need to do on offense. I think, you know, players got to, you know, rise to the level um, that we need them to um, around the, the entire group in the receiver room. I think guys will do that. And I think it starts today in practice. Mike, at the end of the first half, what was the thought process in letting the clock run when you guys got the ball back there? Yeah, I think. I think Dave's mentioned some of that, um, and you know, as, we're, as far as like the time management stuff, um, you know, I think there, there was definitely discussions. We, you're just working through the clock, and at the time, that was the best situation, the best uh, decision we felt was to let that clock run. Dale, Dale, yesterday talked a lot about how through like waves of 
lows, it's hard to stay consistent. It's hard to maintain the same philosophy of trusting the process and all that stuff. And he mentioned leaning on people, leaning on his coaches. How is he leaning on you specifically to help them through this consistency and maintain this philosophy, right, of trusting the process over yeah. results and those things? Yeah, just being yourself, you know, being the same guy every day, come, come into your meetings prepared, come into, um, you know, any interactions with the players prepared and giving them the answers that they need to do their jobs. Coach, it seems Daniel Bellinger is getting more and more involved. Can you talk about the process with him and the trust that's grown with him and Daniel and all that? Uh, Bell's doing a great job. Um, Coach Bishop's done a great job with him since he's gotten in here. I think you're just seeing that type of growth from that kid. He's putting in the work every single day, and he's getting he's improving. He's improving a lot of things, from blocking, route running. You're seeing it in practice, and you're seeing it show up in the game. We'll take three more. Like that on the end of the first half. Sure. Why the change in um, approach of not being as aggressive maybe as your guys have been in previous weeks there? Because yeah. it seemed like that's how you were approaching games and play there's, calls. There's a lot of things that go into that, whether it's um, field position. Um, but I think at the time, that's you know that's what we felt was the best you know to get into the half. So you know, I fully support it. That's what we want to do as a staff. We talked about it. We kind of had our plan, and that's what we did. Mike, is there a path where Kenny Galladay can, can help you on game days? I think Kenny's doing a great job. I mean, he had a great week of practice last week. You saw him in the game there, had some opportunities. And, and, and you know, I think when you really look at it, I mean, everyone on staff, players, coaches, everyone's going to have plays that they want back. But, you know, he has another opportunity today and go out and have a great practice. And I fully expect him to do that. He's a pro. He's been a pro since he's been here. And, uh, you know, I think that's what pros do is they bounce back and continue to work. Last one. Do you often yeah. Slayton getting on the field? Excuse me? Slayton getting on the field more now? With... Yeah, it's kind of the same thing with, with really every group on offense. Is, you know, today's a, a day to go and define your role, have a great practice, play hard, practice hard. And I think that's what you know we're going to continue to evaluate every single day to up to Sunday.